Right now, new at six, he was given a second chance at life, but instead, a South Florida teenager convicted of attempted murder is back in jail. Tonight, we have uncovered video showing this young man making a series of mistakes that could keep him behind bars until he's middle-aged. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya has our report. It's clear 18-year-old Will Campbell has a penchant for guns. And he has good aim. Check him out, though. Shoot to the head already, Check him out. Shoot to the head. He even had a friend shoot video of him at a Hialeah shooting range and posted the video online. <laughs> Trouble is, Campbell is on probation. He's not allowed anywhere near a gun, let alone to go to target practice. Nah, not the whole party, man. Campbell took a plea deal giving him credit for a year of time served in jail and probation instead of prison time for opening fire on a crowded teenage club in 2014, wounding more than a dozen young people. Despite wearing a GPS ankle monitor, Campbell's probation officer says he visited this gun shop, went shooting with his friends and several other places when he should have been at home or work. Now he's not going anywhere. Your Honor, Mr. Campbell is out on felony probation. Campbell was rebooked in jail. His attorney, Richard Gregg, released this statement saying in part, there is a lot more to Mr. Campbell and his story than what is simply shown in the videos. We are in the process of conducting our own investigation into the circumstances surrounding his alleged actions, as well as having Mr. Campbell evaluated for mental health and intellectual functioning disabilities. Campbell's probation officer recommends he head to prison and reported that when Campbell was busted with a gun, he said in colorful language that he knows he messed up. Campbell remains locked up here at the pretrial detention center and he will have a probation violation court hearing during which a judge will decide his new sentence. His decision to pick up a gun again could cost him the next 30 years of his life. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News.